Hey, welcome back to um, Dee Dee's small little bitty gas turbine shop. And guess what? We are ready to reassemble this engine. Uh, starting today, we're going to start putting things together, uh, at least to the point where I can check clearances. And then from that point on, it will depend uh, whether I go ahead and further assemble or I have to take a little bit back apart and change the uh, spacer behind the uh, compressor bearing. So, uh, you can see here we got our hoist set up. Uh, this is the rotor assembly suspended with the uh, strap. Here we have the intake housing facing down, front end facing down. Bearing is in its place. We are ready to install the um, spacer and then lower the rot rotor assembly and shaft through and into the housing. Uh, at that point, then we will be ready to set the stator, case, cowling, and the whole assembly over this, attach it with the screws, and then uh, finally the turbine rotor, and then the exhaust nozzle housing assembly with the, with the rear bearing. Once that is in place and attached with screws, we will have a uh, rotating assembly suspended between its two bearings. At that point, I can then check some clearances. Hopefully, they will fall within the specified range. I'm using the original uh, shim or spacer that came with this original J44, so I'm hoping that that will work. That's a starting point anyway. Okay, well, uh, a friend of mine, um, Bruce, is coming up to help uh, manhandle this stator case here in a little bit, so we'll uh, try to get some video of setting this thing together. So uh, we'll be back here in just a few minutes, and we'll show you what we're doing here, get a close-up of the uh, spacer and bearing, and, and then uh, we'll proceed. Stand by. Here we have the uh, back side of the compressor bearing. This is looking at the inside of the intake housing. Uh, as you can see, here's our compressor rotor assembly. Now let's squat down here. You can see there's the stub shaft, and that stub shaft will drop right on through this bearing race, and that is the front bearing. And that is how the front of the uh, rotor assembly is suspended. Right here on this inner race is where we put our spacers and then the shaft of course goes through there. All right, we'll install the spacer and that will be as simple as uh, placing them down there on the race, inner race, and then we'll be uh, ready to lower the rotor down into place. There we have our uh, spacers installed. There are two spacers. The total thickness is about sixty thousandths of an inch. I recorded that, wrote it down so that I would know uh, depending on how much we're off on the total, on the clearances we're looking for in the engine, uh, I will know then which way to go or how much to change it to the correct thickness because you don't want to, if you have to pull this the shaft back out to change that shim, you don't really want to uh, do that more than once. Now we're ready to drop this rotor assembly down into place and let's uh, proceed. Let this dude down really, really slow and I'll be sure, since I know I had this in place earlier, I'm reasonably close to being lined up. I haven't moved the hoist, but we just want to be sure we don't clash or crash. And I see you probably have to. Our parts being two places at once, and that is operating the jack and operating the and positioning the components. Here, I can tell. I think we're through with the stub. And there we go. All right, I'm going to stop there because we've got to wiggle this. Do a little shifting here. Okay, let's see. on down there a little bit. I think we're about there. 
Let's let some more tension off of it. There we go. Now we want to keep some on it so it doesn't let that fall. Because as you know, these bearings are self-aligning, meaning and they have a swiveling capability. So we don't want that. Say we're in place, and boy, that is close. I guess that's what we're aiming for, right? Close, but not too close. Looks like the hub is down again. Yeah, yeah, that looks uh, like it used to look. Cool. <coughs> uh oh, that the whole. Here, I see the, the woods moving. I think it's just, it needs to probably come to you on the top, the boom. And these go toward Bruce, like pull toward maybe the whole steam. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. It looks alright here. Okay, okay. I got a pin on this side too. There we go. Alright, are you ready? Yeah. Not just kind of close. Whoa, 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 can slow down a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. How you looking, bro? I'm looking good. So. Uh, apparently, uh, you were. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it happens more than an inch. Know. Let's get it really close. And we need to start. Go over the side of that? No, it goes right on again. So we need, right on top? We need to yeah. let it get it really close so we can start bolts that are real long before you get it too close so we can move that around and get the bolts done. Right, right, right about there. there. The pins that line it up, right? Yeah, it's, but they're not really locator pins. Those are just recesses for bolt pins to rest in. So it's not, just about there. I can lay it down a little more, though, if you want. We ought to have down to a quarter of an inch gap, man. Okay, okay we well, need to come on down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now your, your bolt heads are kind of locating. No, not yet. You probably... Right there. I'm going to totally flush. Down. Right there. Mine's in. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, that's where you want it, right there. Alright, I'll take a little weight off. You know why? Because I think it's a little crooked. You, you need some bolts. Yeah, I'm not in over here. No, that's as okay. Pin. Right, that's okay. okay. My pin is in. Yeah, you're good. Though. I just got to kind of hold it over just now. a hair until you get some started. Oh, why don't you do this? I won't call the bind, but it's just not setting up perfectly. I'd say what I would do is just try to screw in about four of these randomly around. And then we got to put washers under them, and there also there's motor mounts that I don't know. Take one. You don't get one. Yeah. Well, if we got to have washers, you got to get one, okay? Yeah, I just got to. Are we just doing this for alignment reasons? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. i got to get motor mount bolts on, too. See how they yeah. like that's in a bind, so I know it's close to start. They should thread right yeah, in. Yeah, I'm, I'm threading in. We're just a little Pretty bit. Pretty good, anyway. I mean, I don't know. You don't want it. You don't care about going all the way or anything, right? Well, we could probably I'm not it. sure we can because we got. You got how many threads you got started? I mean, did it turn in several. Threads? Yeah. Well, we can let this down now. It'll probably square it. Well, the top popped out of the cylinder. Is it supposed to be that? Yeah, way? that's okay. It is where it is. You're good. Here we go. Ready? Watch your fingers. Yeah. Let this down. Right now. Oh, perfect. You know what? Well, behold, there is um, a good start on assembling these major components. You can see now we have, uh, after installing the compressor and shaft, we have lowered the uh, stator assembly, which is the cowling and combustion chamber and such, uh, over the top. And then, last but not least, we've installed the turbine rotor and torqued the nuts. And on top of all that we got them back where agent Jay-Z uh, originally had them where he originally had them uh, as part of balancing this assembly so that's very important all right okay so there well the next step will be to uh, torque the screws that attach the intake housing to this cowling and then uh, we need to install the exhaust nozzle assembly we'll let it down over uh, the exhaust nozzle assembly will lower down and fit and attach to the end here and also the uh, support this end of the shaft or that will help support the uh, that will support this end of the shaft and at that point then we can start checking some clearances this will conclude part one of final assembly video set in part two, we'll show you the installation of the exhaust nozzle housing 
and getting it all together. We will, um, I've already got some video shot of that. I just need to edit it together and make the video, produce the video. All right. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Appreciate your support as I always say. Uh, thanks Jay for your um, input and uh, you too Graham Jay. Uh, both of you kind of see things and point them out and that helps. Uh, thanks again to my friends who came up and helped me. Um, there are some buddies of mine and just the extra power and none of them work on jet engines uh, but they're uh, smart guys and they're they're pretty observant so you know four six eight eyes are better than two so maybe we can say that as my uh, cousin says and somebody catches something that I miss hey that's how we uh, try not to have a catastrophe on hand here it's coming together I'm getting excited um, Hopefully before too long we can get this thing horizontally, placed horizontally onto the stand. Uh, I do have some repair work to do on the stand itself and some modifications to do before the engine goes on so we'll uh, work that into a little video too uh, as we can, okay? Alrighty, thanks for watching.